Hi, in this video I'll be creating a UEFI Windows 10 USB boot disk. So I'll, I'll be needing a 8 gig USB flash drive. And you could do it on your external hard drive also. Uh, it doesn't have to be a thumb drive or a flash drive. And I'll be using 7-zip, which is a unzipping and zipping tool. And I'll be extracting uh, files from my ISO file. So uh, if you have the DVD, you could just copy the files. I'm using it. I'll be copying my files using a ISO image file. I'll be partitioning the um, USB drive. You could skip this if you've already done so. And I'll be copying the files to make it UEFI bootable. So the first thing I'm going to do here is uh, choose my uh, Windows 10 ISO file and using 7-zip uh, make sure you download it here if you don't already have it I'll be putting this in the description section of the video so I'm gonna use 7-zip and extract the files into a temp folder so you see the folder here is where my files are gonna be and while that's occurring I will be running through these steps which is formatting the file system and partitioning the thumb drive or flash drive. So if I go to all programs, accessories, command prompt, right click and run as administrator. And if I bring up disk part, now, now I'm gonna list the drives and make sure you pick the right drive because you don't want to format or uh, wipe out the wrong one. So I'm going to select disk 3 here, which is, this is my thumb drive, the one that's uh, 7.6 meg uh, gigabytes or 7,633 megabytes. So I've selected that and now I'm going to say clean, which will wipe out the partitions on that thumb drive. So that's done and I'm going to say create partition primary. I'm going to select that partition that I just created and I'm going to make it active and bootable. Now I'm going to format it quick file system equals FAT32. And when that's done, I'm going to assign it a, because I wiped out all the partitions, I'm going to have to reassign it a drive letter. So make sure you uh, put, put in this assign. So you'll notice now I have the E drive. And also my ISO file in the background, you notice, has already been done extracting. So I could exit out of this now. And you'll notice all, all of the files are there now I am gonna go to my thumb drive that I just created so this is my empty thumb drive and select all the files from my folder so remember I extracted all the files here and I'm gonna copy it over So while the files are copying, I am going to skip to the last step. I, I really should wait until all the files are done copying, but because I know these files are already copied, I could go ahead and skip to that step. So if I go to the source folder under the EFI folder, Microsoft boot, I'm going to copy all of these files. And if I go to the thumb drive under the EFI folder and boot, You'll notice the boot x64 EFI file is already there, so I verified it's there. Now I'm going to copy these files into this folder. So I'm copying it into this folder. And after this, you're already done. You just have to wait until all the other files are done copying. And I've tested this method out on about five laptops and desktops, and they all worked. But lots of times I find it is uh, sometimes particular. There are some peculiar laptops sometimes that have different uh, BIOS and boot sequences that don't quite work. 
but for the most part, uh, this should work for your laptop, and I hope it does, and uh, thank you for watching.